And now, Parts Bin. There is no doubt that we live in an ever-changing world, but one thing that will always remain constant, quality never goes out of style. That's why people will spend seven bucks for a little cup of coffee at the local coffee house, as opposed to getting a big cup at the truck stop. Coffee house tastes better. That's why more and more people are getting into listening to vinyl albums, as opposed to downloading music. The albums sound better. And that's why more people are talking about Wheelhub magazine as opposed to the stuff you get at the local newsstand. Wheelhub just looks better. I will go to a shop and I'll spend some time before I shoot looking at the car and finding the details. I'm a detail guy. I love little, all the little you know, design elements of a car, how lines converge together and how they, the shapes are forming and how those you know, reflections work. Wheelhub is less of a magazine in the traditional sense. Um, it's more of a tribute to the great cars and the great car builders out there right now. Um, I mean, the cars being built today are just so phenomenally good, built by just exceptionally talented fabricators and car builders. But as good as the photography and the layout is, Wheelhub is not just a picture book. One of the best things about the magazine is the writing and the stories. And when it comes to ads, even those are so well done, they seem like they're part of the story. People pick up the magazine. I think it's, it's very immediately um, apparent to them that there isn't much of any connection between the editorial content and who is buying an ad. It's true that not everything stands the test of time. It's got to be done to a high standard of excellence, and it's got to rewrite the rules. And in the magazine world, Wheelhub Magazine is not only rewriting the rules, they're completely changing the game for the better. 